And we are excited to bring you more action here from Raya Doginchu. It's the EDP Billabong Pro Cash Guys Kaipo Girl, along with a guy that rides very, very large waves, Peter Mel. And we got a great heat to call here with Keanu Singh, Wade Carmichael, and Mikey Wright. All really high on the uh, qualifying series rankings. Michael, they're currently ranked. 12th on the qualifying series rankings by the virtue of a fifth at Bolito and a third at the Azores. Short footed in Wade Carmichael, able to negotiate some difficult water right there. Championship Tour in 2018. We're going to stick with Keanu on this left hander. And he likes the lefts. You watch him. He is quick and precise. Doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes ever on that backhand. Has won a championship tour by the lethality, is that a word, of his backhand. Take a look now at Wade Carmichael splitting the peak. Tough section like you had mentioned, <laughs> and somehow does stay on his feet. Not gonna be a huge score. By his lethal backhand, Keanu. We'll, we'll cover We'll get back first. to that. Let's cover the action with Mikey Wright. With a nice opening move. And that's the opportunity. I'll just tell everyone what you said. You said <laughs> Keanu should really utilize his great backhand. backhand, exactly. And he's doing that again, right now. Live action. Throws it up there. Just like that, just like we expected. Such great just technique form is, and technique. That's you know? what it is. His technique is impeccable. It really is. And then also his variety on the backhand. I mean, I think that and the EDP replay. First section there, bit of bump on the face, gets around it, and that's that straight up approach that we had touched on. And he rarely makes errors too. That's one of the next things too, is being able to complete the rides on a regular basis and give you those consistent higher scores. So Mikey Wright struggling so far. But Mikey has had really the, the big highlight, the QS 10,000 in South Africa, Bolito, finished with an equal third. Keanu Singh picking off a right-hander and a bit disinterested in that wave as it really didn't give him a lot of opportunity. And other than that, you know, he's, he's been making the run, started Europe, up and riding. Mikey Wright. Snap off the top, carves a little roundhouse cut back. He's going to have this dumpy inside section to deal with, and it deals with Mikey right back, and he goes incomplete. Back to your thoughts, Peter? Well, I'll just touch on uh, you know, his season. Wade Carmichael. That was a beautiful rail turn to open up with. Let's see how he deals with this inside section. No Bangs worries. it through the lip. No worries. Round arc. It's not easy to do, and the reason being is that that section there, fairly flat. A lot of surfers you see will double stage that turn. He did not. He went all the way around with it, kept the speed going. That's a good board, that's good technique. And then the finish move. Very tough section. Goes up and over, gets those fins punched through, and then centers himself over the top of the board. Make sure that he pulls it off. Or we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that more because Keanu's gonna stick to this left. Nice extended arc, changes it up on the second turn, snaps off the top, building up speed down the line. Little projection lipper there. Gets back into the lip a little late, but complete. So Ends sure up funny. on his feet. Beautiful surfing by Keanu Singh. Oh, there you go. You know, and the end section's a little tamer. You know, it's not as so dumpy. It's not so much water on it. Gets that arcing snap. This is the money section. He tags it perfectly. The timing, too. You see the water flying out the back. You know, guys that have that same similar technique, Willie Dantas, you know, where they are able to place that board right in the right spot. From Wade, 6.5, so good score for Wade Carmichael. We're waiting on the last score of Keanu Singh while we watch Mikey Wright. Nice cut back there, double pump off the bottom, slashes another turn. Mikey building up some momentum here, bangs it through the lip, and again, that inside section. Because that was going to be a good wave here, you know. Had a good line on it, came to the inside, so it kind of settled up on the bank a little bit better so it gave him these opportunities on the outside section and then here to finish it all he needed to do pull that off you see it go probably into the sevens almost maybe excellent instead it's going to be suppressed because of that probably another four 
You know, what happens here? Gets there late. And when he lands, his foot was on. He goes down. Keanu Asen continues his assault on the lefts here at Ginchu. Oh, man. Rapid fire. Looks like he picked up the pace a little bit more on that wave. Previous wave came in a six-point ride. Keanu is currently in the lead. But heard your scores. We know the strategy has been for this man in blue is to hit these last switches, working out very well for him. This is another great wave, nice rhythm. So Wade Carmichael on the back end this time. Again, you got to keep your eyes open for all the opportunities. So a 6.48 would be uh, nearly the best score so far in this heat. Keanu Asig continues his assault on the lefts here. A couple nice carves. Wave stands up nicely on the inside. And Keanu just so good at getting his board up and the tempo, the angles of approach that we talked about. Pass of Keanu Asig. Uh, let's see, this is Wade working uh, his priority. He was in second priority, making sure that Keanu was going to go on this wave. So then he acquires priority, but look at that. Again, just mixes it up. Every time he sees that section, he'll adjust his board, whatever which way. Extremely high in the surfing, especially when you're at this QS 10,000 level. Here we go. Carmichael. Vert whitewater climb and feels dissatisfied with that opening maneuver. He says, nope, I'm second in line, you're in third, and I'm going to take this left, and I'm going to go whack, and I'm going to spin around. <laughs> And I'm going to look back at you <laughs> and say, what? Well, is that going to improve on a 5.73? Uh, if it does, it's not going to be by a whole lot. But mentally, that was something right there. For Go ahead, Mikey. All right, let's see it. Warbly, bouncy wave. Wright's going to have to do something large. Oh. And uh, just no opportunity on that, unfortunately. 20 seconds. He's going to have to stroke feverishly to get back out to the peak as the clock just winds down, Pete. Well, and if he doesn't get another opportunity, he'll have to reflect on the ends of those rides, and that's it. That was it. That yeah. made the difference. It did. It absolutely did. Keanu was Singh in the blue jersey. He won the heat. We're going to see him in round number five. Wade Carmichael is going to be joining Keanu in that round five when we get into our man-on-man matchups, it's going to be the next format. So 